They didn't, oh, allow, what, they didn't allow chicks till the 90s. Yeah, that sounds badass. <laughs> kind of like the Blood Indians of Canada, okay? That <laughs> <laughs> just sounds badass. <laughs> Tuski Bootski to being broke, young, and, and uh, hopeful. Under 30. Under 30. Nothing matters when you're in your 20s. Right, right, right. I'm not gonna start being like, actually just start. Time to hatch. You. You know, that doesn't get easier. That needs to go up there. No, nah, no, nah, it only affects me like if I haven't had it in a while. Can we talk about some real stuff today? Yeah, this is this is real. Oh. You know, you know what real stuff I want to talk about? What? That painting. Oh fuck that painting. Okay, okay, guys. They can't see it, but just imagine they're, they're gonna see it. It's right here. Take take her take her down. No, do not move that. It's not gonna work. Please, please. Because I just set it up just perfect. Don't take it off. No, you can't. I'll have to cut all this out. Let me argue with you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Two hours. This painting later. is god awful. We don't know what it is. It's, it looks like a lady reading a book, and you can't help but stare at it. She's got. But uh, you can see the penguin fingers. Yeah, yeah. She's got these little mangled little. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's like, got the mangly of fingers. Like dinner, baby. Like this is little. She's Excuse got, me. What kind of hands does she have? She's got a Lego people hand here. Mm -hmm. She got these little crab claws <laughs> right there, and she's reading a book. Good for her. Good for her. Now, what's crazy is that sometimes it'll look like it's crying. Like right now, it looks like it's sad, right? Because we were talking shit on it. Mm -hmm. Other times, it looks inspiring, you know? Like, oh, motivational yeah, today. Yeah. Like, wow, that's a really <laughs> deep painting. But no matter what, as soon as you... If you look at it and you look away, if you look at it for just like a couple seconds and you look away... You swear to God, it moves a little bit. Like, you can just see her turn a page. That painting well, gave us what? It's nightmares? Like you, yeah. Okay, yeah. You had... What was your nightmare with the painting? My nightmare? I had a... When we first got that painting, we moved here to this new location, Albuquerque, New Mexico. No, move from 10. It's, uh... Oh, wow. Yeah, we're in Frisco now, baby. All right, all right. So, what was, your, what was your nightmare? Okay, so I had a dream that that thing put the book down and goes... <laughs> okay i'm just like well that's weird because like i see it move every day when i'm not looking at it but you know what i mean <laughs> that was, was that that was day and one it chased that we me around the, the house it stretched its neck out and kept yelling maria 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 it's like the you ever watch that movie mama that scary horror film where the ghost raises the kids Oh, it's scary as shit it's like dude creepy tarzan but what you just described sounds like a scene that would be in that movie Oh shit! Oh yeah. And then you had the same. Oh, uh, you you know I, I heard Maria. Yeah, yeah, Maria. That same. So he didn't tell me this, but the same night I had a nightmare about little bitch right here. Okay. We call her Maria, by yeah. the way. Yeah, and it was a it was like the same thing, except she didn't like chase me around. She was just like there and was like, like looking at me with her little fingers, with little, and little she was and thing. went like this, like to trying to like, grab me with it, and I was like this. In my bed, and I woke up in a sweat and a panic. I didn't say anything to you. You didn't say anything to me. No, but but didn't I bring up? I said something like, "Oh, Marie over there," and you're like, "You're talking about the painting, right?" Yeah, and I was like, "I had a fucking nightmare." You go, "I had a nightmare about Maria." I go, "I forgot the name in mine." I thought you said yours was Maria too, because that's how we figured it out. Oh shit! It yeah yeah okay so it was the same. Yeah, that's the right. Same name and everything. Oh my goodness. Anyway, it's just like Mama. So, Mama's the movie where, like, there's, like, a family of four, two girls, husband and wife, they're driving down the road, and it's in the middle, like, this, win like, outside, like, winter, nasty weather. The car wrecks, right? And then, like, they need to find shelter, they can't get cell phone signal, whatever, so they start walking through the woods, they find a cabin, right? The girls are, like, f four and, like, six or seven, okay? Turns out this cabin is extremely haunted. Right, and it's all old, nasty, decrepit, like no one took care of it. And it's all boarded up, but they have to get out of this blizzard and just stay in there. Anyway, this haunted, demonic, skinny little like creature that painting <laughs> lo like loves the kids. So ends up so the wife died in a car crash. Spoiler alert. So she snaps the husband's neck and then raises these two girls because she likes them. 
in like this nasty cabin. Mm. No one knows they exist. They were just missing. And then someone else finds them like years later when they're like 11. And they're like rabid beasts, like fingernails are all long. They can't communicate. They can't talk. Like none of that stuff. And this ghost ends up following them around. This family wants to adopt them. Anyway, so this, it, spoiler, spoiler, the family adopts them. And they start talking about mama. It's the only words they know. And then it follows like them to this like rich person's house who adopts them. And then it like goes through walls and like, like chases them. Yeah, like like chases them through. Like we're like, talking sh- like crab. Like, yeah, and then and then you know. yeah, and then it ends like something stupid. Like I can't remember how it ends. But anyway, that freaked me out because it was just like, what's that? And you look and you see like something. And you, no, I didn't see anything. That's what Maria over here would do. She Zoom would, in on Maria. <laughs> in, insert sound. <laughs> hang, 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 hang. <laughs> <laughs> What is that from? Uh, Hi, like stabbing, like yeah, ching, 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 ching. yeah. It's 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 like from one of the first thriller movies out there. But we could hang, 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 and just like zoom in. Well, and it was weird because I've never had like an experience, like a paranormal occurrence in my life. I don't even know if it's that, but I mean, we both shared a similar right. Nightmare. It's just the freaky painting had the, the same, same name, you know. It's freaky. It's really freaky. And if you see the painting, we'll show you the painting. You'll understand why. Now, how do we acquire this painting? Oh, brokenness. He is banning my assholes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be careful Broke what you name. buy at Savers. Okay? <laughs> and sponsor for the video, Savers. My man's garbage could be your haunted garbage, <laughs> Savers. <laughs> I'd uh, buy that for a dollar. <laughs> That's their motto. I'd buy that for a dollar. I buy that. <laughs> nah, Chase and I I'd... both were walking around poor as hell. And we're looking at, I mean, you know, we just moved here. You know? We needed art. You know how much money it costs to live in Frisco? It costs oh, a lot my gosh. It costs a lot of money. So we're like, okay, well, what do we get? You know what? It might actually be in the last video we did. Because we do it over there. Oh, you're right. Maria would be in that shot. Uh, I, bet, so I, Maria... bet she's like, I bet she's like tilted like, like 45 degrees, not like, you know. That's right. If you're just tuning in, the last video we did in front of the fireplace, that's Maria. Um, if you're new, I would have put it right about here. <laughs> so that way they just find this one. They'll see it on there. Anyway, what made you bring up Maria? Do you have another nightmare? You dream about her? No, no, no. no okay. After we got say- this painting, everything got bad. It did go bad. Everything got horrible. And it wasn't until we got a second painting yes, that it started to level out. And what's the second painting? Melissa. Melissa, the kind cow. Melissa the benevolent. I see <laughs> why the Hindu worship cows now. But no, I'm just <laughs> sitting here. I'm looking. She calms the house. Yeah. Forget the priest. Forget the sage. Yeah, yeah. Melissa. Get a Melissa. <laughs> you know. Cow painting. I don't know how that works. It just does. Okay. We don't ask questions. We just do. But no, just but before filming this, Chase and I got a few more paintings for the place. You know, new oh, place, nice whatever, you know. And you I'm sold like, me on cowboys, I guess. Oh, cowboys, aliens, it always go together. Yeah, I mean, like it puts salon, salon doors, uh, saloon doors. Are you, re- are you for real going to, no way, it wouldn't doors? even hold up. Like, it wouldn't, it'd be like, dude, off. I, I'm your Huckleberry. I'll, I'll get her done. I'll get her did. I'm going to laugh so hard if I come in one of these days and be like, hi, what's up? Work was good. And then the doors are just like offset. You're like, look at this. And you push them and you go, isn't that cool? And I go, Oh no! See, I I just I don't know what it is. <laughs> I I use I think I wanted them for my old bathroom because it was like in my bedroom at my old apartment. You know, like I had a bathroom in my bedroom like I do now. And I was like, I don't care. you know, it'd be so dope. Saloon doors. <laughs> yeah, just walk in it. Draw. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, just just. <laughs> no one would be there. Give me a scout. <laughs> well, that's the point. You can get away with that stuff. You know. <laughs> just doing it for no one. Doing it to make you, me feel you, better. You're a showman. You don't know. You don't want to shit and piss like a cowboy. <laughs> I'm just gonna pee poo like a regular person. Let's go. Oh, you know. I, I just feel like it'd be fun as hell. You, you know, you're having a bad day. You go get a snack. Bow. Draw you some <laughs> bitch. Walter thought it was for him. Alameda, is that you? Who? Alameda. I don't know, but 
I don't know. Cowboys and aliens, they're always a good combination. Uh, uh, you, you're getting me there, but I'm not quite there on bathroom saloon doors or kitchen saloon doors. I'm saying I'm just entertaining the idea of cowboys, so it's one step farther than we were. Draw, we mother. Get rid of that painting. Yeah, get her. We're, why can't we just throw her out? We'd have nothing there. You're right. It's We'd a trap. Stare at it's it. a trap. Yeah. So if you've been a long time viewer of the show, mm-hmm. buy us a fucking painting the same size as Maria, please, so we can replace it. And whatever it is, please, God, don't be from Savers. Yeah, yeah, don't be from Savers. <laughs> I'll tell you what. For all four of you out there watching it, that's right. The the well, sorry, for all four of you out there watching it that are our fans, and the one of them that isn't us. Right. <laughs> we got multiple accounts. Uh, <laughs> scratch that, scratch it from the right. <laughs> I'd like to retract that, Your Honor. But if you, scratch it. If you get us a different painting instead of Creeps LaBeef over there, we'll give you a shout out every time you see it. Very grateful. We're very grateful. I'm very grateful. I can sleep at night and my dog and not get crazy. <laughs> well, let, let's just. We got the painting and I got COVID. That's right. Okay, you. What happened to you? Uh, what I didn't got COVID. Happen? Uh, I got the I got disease. I got disease foot. Yeah, trench foot. Yeah, I got like somehow got staffed that turned into like a severe infection okay, that was eating in my nightmares. foot. Nightmares. Um, should I first mention the scabies? I mean, you kind of already did. <laughs> we, we can. I guess so. I mean, I can't think of the other ones, but like it just everything went wrong. Like it was apartment moving. Our, the our cost of it. Thanks, Carlos Lopez. Yeah, the electric company was like, we're going to turn your power off because Carlos isn't paying. We're like, that's not us. Yeah, yeah. We we had to convince them we were in Carlos. So we were I like a almost week wanted power. to like look at them because they didn't believe us. They didn't believe you. They didn't know. Yeah. And I was like, do I, do you want to FaceTime me? Like, do I look like Carlos? <laughs> like, do me. you want to see? <laughs> I told that to them and they said, we know you're covering for them. So they you're shut like, off the previous tenant's electricity. <laughs> Thinking he was us. Somebody and was covered for Carlos. Our name is on Carlos. the bill. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, ah. Oh, they told fuck. they told me personally from four different agents. No, five, five different agents I spoke to for hours. That the only thing I could do was I had to find Carlos. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah, get my to power back on. Him. I gotta pay his bill. Yeah, you're like, uh, what the, f- dude? I'm gonna find Carlos. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I. And then somehow we convinced him. We were like, "What proof do you need to say that we aren't associated okay, so with said person?" So that happened. Then what? That's what I'm saying. It can't just be like a oh, we bought this painting and it was weird. Okay. It was like then so COVID, job. Mm-hmm. Waited a month. You got trench severe foot. infection in the foot. I messed up my ankle. Yeah, you messed up your ankle. That's yeah, right. Yeah, Freak I, I ripped like every ligament and yep. tendon in my ankle. That uh, explains the three month hiatus. Yeah, and then you, what did you do? You, my computer broke, your computer so we couldn't broke. do the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then suddenly just started working again. Perfectly fine. Just weird as fuck. Yeah, like, I, as as soon as we got the cow. That, that happened right after the after the uh, power outage, right? Like, Evergy shuts off our electricity and your computer breaks? Yeah, but then, Thanks like, it. it's like everything just went wrong as quick as possible. Oh, God, yeah. It was bad. Bad. I mean, bad. Real bad. <laughs> 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 Fucking awful. And not that we're trying to bitch. No. We're just saying we felt like you deserved kind of an explanation. And yeah. you want to blame us for not having a great show? You blame that thing above the mantle. Blame Maria, Carlos, Maria. <laughs> the electric company. Okay? That bitch took me forever. <laughs> 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 okay, did anyone else notice how, like, last week... There was an asteroid coming for Earth. Are you talking about the movie Don't Look Up? No, I'm talking like that actually fucking happened. What? Yeah. Like, for Earth? Yeah. Like, hit our planet? I Earth? only know this because I follow an astronomy page. Several of them, actually. And they were just like, hey, a giant meteor's going to collide with the Earth. And you think anyone's going to panic about it? SpaceX launched a spacecraft that will attempt to redirect an asteroid later this year. It's called the Double Asteroid Redirection Test DART Mission. So SpaceX is going to do NASA's job? No, SpaceX started off as a, let's put billionaires on space. Let's colonize Mars. And now they're like, 
okay, we got to get, we need Danny Ocean. Well, bro, you know, it's we gotta, Elon we gotta Musk. Assemble a team. We got to have a heist. Well, it's Elon Musk. You don't think he's going to do something more than just like the basic? The basic? You consider the ground level, like sending millionaires in space? No, no, no. Like that, yeah, that's like, that's like superficial and stupid and no one really gives a shit. But like colonizing planets, like going to the moon and like having a base there, which you can't do because technically, have you heard about the moon treaty thing? No one no. owns it. No one owns it. So like that means like you know we put the flag on it. Well, then by law of finders keepers, losers weepers. Well, like no one can like put a base on it. Like you can't have like a China base on the moon. Why the fuck not? Well, I mean, when well, you don't want that. What's fair is fair. Well, <laughs> come on, we got to get that first. Like it's not America got there first in the sixties. Well, I USA 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 USA. But like. <laughs> But, like, you can, no one can put a military base of operations on there or business, like, related entity on the moon. But they're like, fine, skip it. We don't even need it. We'll just go to Mars and do it. They're like, oh, yeah, what's that going to take? A couple nukes, a few thousand people, geniuses. Wouldn't that be a horrible way to go? You're like, I'm going to Mars. I'm serving uh, the population of planet Earth. We're moving forward. This is a part of our journey. And like, yeah, everyone claps. And then one little malfunction, and we lose like a fraction of the geniuses we have left on Earth. <laughs> like a horrible crash, or like they forgot something on takeoff, you know? Like, I mean, it's the same risk that an astronaut would take when they go to the moon or something. They're like, oh, we may blow up on the way there, or like not make it on the way down. How does one become an astronaut? Like, they're not just sending people to space every day. Imagine training your whole life. To be an astronaut, and then they're like, yeah, well, NASA got shut down, so, like, you're fucked. And it turns out people really are attacking us for going to space, because space is their private zone, that's the space zone. Oh, so we have to stay in our zone, the Earth atmosphere. It's really triggering people about going to space again. You'd be like this, the fuck, I'm an astronaut. You're like, not today. Yeah, I'm well, like, by law of finders, keepers, losers, weepers, you know, you don't been had. I mean, okay? like I said, I, I just have a weird feeling that... Even if you work out all the math, there's probably, and not to mitigate the amazingness of SpaceX and Elon and all that kind of stuff, but eventually there's going to be something where like, oh, the we forgot the number on this one or the math or it's off by a little bit. And like, it'll be fine. It's just a small, we can calculate that while they're in orbit, you know, something like that. And then a ship of like a hundred genius, like scientists who are going to, cultivate mars just like you know like it's just i don't think i don't think i don't think it's i I just don't think it's that easy like we're gonna go there and do it and it's gonna be a success right away like when you know bro we've been going to space for like i know but this one is a like 60 years it's just the this is the first rocket that will launch fly very 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 far and land itself miles and millions of miles away like yeah, we've very been doing difficult. That for Sixty years. No, no, it's not like, it's not like you go to the moon where you take the rocket, right, and then you land on the moon and then use that to go back to your spaceship. Like, it's like it lands. So if it doesn't land, or like on when when it's landing, oh no, it, it tilted just a little bit too far because they're so far away you wouldn't be able to tell. So it's all them flying it. Anyway, it's just it just it's a lot more complicated than like landing on the moon or something. I just have a weird feeling that it's gonna be really bad on Earth, and so we think the escape is to go to Mars, and then, you know, we rush something or, you know, we don't have the patience to wait or do this or do that, and then maybe you know casualties or the mission fails or whatever, millions of dollars lost. I don't know. I just have a weird feeling that it's not gonna be that easy to go to Mars. Or redirect a meteor. I mean, how do they say to do it? Like on your phone? Do they know? Oh, redirect a missile? Yeah, like how do they redirect the asteroid away sorry, from... Sorry, I was having an existential crisis over there listening to you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just... I'm just questioning everything. Like, <laughs> What are we even doing here? It's Maria. She's got me in her grip. Oh, man. Her, her, d- grip. her dolphin grip. <laughs> yeah, I can't even look at it. It's like kind of creepy, but like needs to be there. It's like creepy, but you just have to look. You it's, just it's a weird distance we thing. We both looked at it, looked at each other, and go, 
that speaks to me at the same time. Yeah, and it literally did in our dreams. Yeah. Spoke uh, to us. I'm telling you that pain. And not in a nice way. <laughs> hell of a reprint, my friend. <laughs> hell of a reprint. So, wait, okay. so like the asteroid the NASA is targeting, Dimorphos. They come up with all kinds of cool names for shit. Dimorphos. I mean, shit, the new COVID variant's called the Omicron. Sounds like a damn transformer. And then they got really lazy, and then, uh, what's the one that's both of them? Flu what? and COVID? What are you talking about? There's a flu COVID going around now? Yeah. They they just, like, shoved them together, got real lazy with it. <laughs> I don't know. They're calling it Flubbid. <laughs> <laughs> Beloved, you got Flubbid, okay? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, Flurona. Flurona, that's what they're calling it. When COVID meets the flu... New worry, flu rona. Didn't we already have that? My my my, my flu rona. <laughs> this is <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Are they really going? Wow. Yeah, it is. That's the first thing that came up. Oh gosh. The asteroid that NASA is targeting, Dimorphos, is not a threat to Earth. Oh, okay, good. Allegedly. But it is a perfect testing ground to see if crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid will change its course. Not a threat to Earth, my ass. Dimorphos is a 525-foot moonlit asteroid orbiting a larger asteroid named Didymus. Oh, my gosh. 525 feet. That's fucking big. Have you ever seen that movie Armageddon? Yes, I have. Very good, by the way. Very good. You should see it. Very good. Very good. Okay. It's got Owen Wilson. Unbelievable. Owen Wilson. Any in there? No. You're thinking of the guy from Die Hard. I, I know Bruce, Bruce Willis? Willis is different, but I'm sorry. I thought oh, you're Wilson thinking of uh, Ben Affleck. Is he? Yeah, okay, Ben okay, Affleck. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Bruce Willis. And then you got... Uh, Steve Buscemi. I'm trying to think of back balls, but that goes was too late. John Coffey. That's right. Yep, yep. He's in there. <laughs> is he? I got to go sideways to walk through a door. I got the, got the clearance. We're full <laughs> of somber notes today, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> My Maria <laughs> made you sad. But uh but yeah, I saw it. Will they try to drill through it? No, they're literally gonna wreck it. This a perfectly good spacecraft into an asteroid and just see what happens. I mean I, that would kind of work, wouldn't it? Because this is going at its or its orbit around the bigger meteor. So if you meet it. Right with the force of the ship, it has to be strong enough to throw it off its orbit. Yeah, right. So it literally have to be more powerful than the pull, and then knock it off that way. I think it would work. I don't know. See, the American enemy wants to say just like, could we just like, you know, pew pew it? Like, don't they got well, like dynamite or something? Just blow that some bitch to smithereens, you know? Unless it, well, then, then you the shock wave of the explosive would just like. We can colonize on Mars. We don't have thermal detonators yet. Like, I, come <laughs> the fuck on, man. It would just throw everything like out of orbit. What was I the know. thing out of the Slav one, slave one that goes. <laughs> yeah, we don't have yeah. one of those yet. We don't want to. This is 2022, Elon. Yeah, yeah, but we're going to Mars. You didn't prepare for that? You didn't prepare for. Well, you know what? This, this, this is something that. It'll be a while for the Mars expansion. You know why? The first step is you need two nuclear bombs. Why? So you have to melt the poles. So you have to launch one on the top and the bottom at the same time to like shift the axis and like melt the caps. Like melt the, the caps. It's full of water. Keep it. Well, yeah, yeah, but you have to un- yeah, yeah. Like your body's seventy percent water. I like, forgot what he, he said. It. Elon was on Joe Rogan and said that we need nukes on the top and the bottom and like detonate them at the same time, like not on the planet but like above it to like shift it. But I'm like, who? We, we have to I'm like, are they really gonna give nukes to like Elon? Like he's just, if he if he gets a nuke, it's because he made it in his lab. <laughs> he's like, I need some gamma radiation. 
Yeah, he's he's just asking as a formality. Like, he's already got that shit. Yeah, he's like, I already have two underneath the Tesla factory. It's fine. <laughs> two? I got five. I brush my teeth with them. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, please, I've got uranium-12 of his toothbrush. Mm, literally, I have boson Higgs particle just, like, right here in my kitchen cabinet. Like, like in my pill cabinet. Just, like, opens it up. I guess it is true. He is really rich. He could just be, like, he'd be, like, the nicest villain in a movie. He could be, like, oh, the nukes you say. He goes, I'll pay you handsomely for them. They're like, we're going to blow up a country, maybe an embassy. He goes, Mars. They I just, go, I just, I don't ooh, that's cold-blooded and shit. <laughs> Mars. I just want to move it. And then somebody goes, why can't you just, if you're trying to shift Mars, why can't you just hit it from a different angle? He goes, we're big. So, I need nukes. <laughs> <laughs> I need two nukes. Or the movie Don't Look Up, which was really good. Some people didn't get that movie, actually. Did you watch it? Don't look up. Not yet, no. Okay. You're supposed to do it tonight, but there are two. There Blink, are t- dude. There are two types Blink. of people. Walter, you're interrupting. <laughs> what? I don't know well, why my dog t- doesn't have. Okay, so that movie hits. It's uh, it's either A or B. Okay. Yeah. It's like the flu. Okay. A. Corona. Yeah. Okay. This is so. Don't look up. Was like that movie with Jonah Hill and Leonardo DiCaprio about a meteor coming to Earth, right? Like direct compact. Yeah. Compact. Contact. And if it hits, it is like the one that killed the dinosaurs and we all die. Right? There's no stopping it. I mean, come on. Like, it it wasn't an asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. What you say? It's like, couldn't have been. Why? What do you mean, why? Why? Where are the fragments now? There's a giant hole in the Earth. Where? It's like, I don't know. It's like somewhere over in the... Oh, but it, but it's so giant, it just wiped out only dinosaurs? Dude, it's like miles long. Okay, but wouldn't it also have wiped out mammals? Why specifically dinosaurs? Anything living. I don't know. Anything living, but we survived? Well, I mean, no one well, knew where we came from. No, but well, it's like a restart. You think that was... A- Dude, the Ice Age killed the dinosaurs. As the Earth no, 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 rotates no, no, no. slowly every day where you can't feel it. Yes, the Earth is moving. You are standing still. Nobody can feel it. It shifts oh, wait. further away out of its... Ad- I can feel it. There it goes again. Thanks, Maria. Now, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like did but, that caused in, uh, the shift to allow for the Ice Age later. No, Ice Age had to have happened first. There was a no hit, giant boom. asteroid that killed out all the dinosaurs. It's fucking impossible. I thought that's how they justified the tilt of the Earth. It tilts of the Earth. No, no. That's why it rotates. Earth, spins, Earth rotates anyway, right? Yeah, it's but it's not up to. and down. It's like tilted sideways. I was told it has something to do with gravity, but it really doesn't because nobody can prove anything about gravity other than it's here. You know what I'm saying? And it only shows up when there's large amounts of mass. Like, yeah. So they're like, well, the Earth spins because of gravity. If it quit spinning, you just float out into space. And I'm like... And, like, now as an adult, I'm like, there's only no laws of gravity that we have ever identified. Like, somebody just made that up. Nobody knows why the Earth spins. And you can't make gravity. That's one thing we can't can't, do. You can't make gravity, no. Earlians can't. We can't. Yeah, we can't. Elon Musk, you ain't got got the... Anyway, let's go back to the main movie. So that's, aside from that point. So the asteroid is huge. and Yeah, yeah. Very, very big. Like, the size of Mount Everest big. Oh, wow. So... Now, it it goes like scientists find it. When they find it, they have to figure out where to go, what to do, how to find it. Or not how to find it. Who to tell to then like get it off their chest and figure out what they have to do. It's like Armageddon with Jonah Hill. But the political version. Oh. How do we deal with this in terms of politics and people, right? So they go to the White House. And the president is Meryl Streep. Who's an idiot? A woman president. And her, yeah, her, 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 like the her second in command is her son with all these tattoos and is Jonah Hill, right? So, okay. So the pitch is it goes two ways. It goes like, a, oh my gosh, it's really complicated because in the movie it shows how ab- complicated it is. They're like you have eight months until this thing gets here and like destroys it, and then it goes political, like left and right, like, you know, they go. Left wants to, like, make change and save the asteroid and keep it because it's not right to, like, destroy something in progress. Oh, and the right is, like, 
There's a shit ton of material on this thing. It's the size of Everest. There's trillions of dollars on here. What if we could mine it? And then they just fight. And then while that's happening, he, he then goes, well, fuck that. I'm just going to go right to the news. And the news stations won't publish the story because it's not traction worthy. It's too scary. So the mainstream media won't play it on TV. They won't do anything. So they try really, really hard to get on TV. And they can't because it didn't get the reviews they wanted over uh, the pop celebrity's new boyfriend, right? And I'm like, this shit would, is exactly how this would happen. Like, if a meteor's coming yeah. right for us, there's no way we would be able to figure it out. Like, the solution. We'd fight each other in the background. And no one would get anything done. At all. So, that's the first option. You realize how true it really is. And then option B is you go, huh, I don't get it. I don't get that movie. Hmm. You know? Yeah. They don't understand that that's so true in modern day. Which is just a reflection of how lost people really are and just live in your daily life. But, I, don't, I mean, I really can't judge what who you're going to be. Like, I don't know if you're going to get it, like how hard it is, or like, be like, I don't get it. Because it's not like it's super subtle. Like, there, there, here's an example. There's a scene where they were like, uh, like a, a company, the rich company wants to like, mine the stuff yeah and he goes we totally have it all figured out he doesn't it's like uh it's like the equivalent of the guy who runs apple dude you want to just go watch that oh i love that movie there's a scene where he's like you've seen it i've already seen it we're supposed to watch it together i know i watched it with uh my mom you slut but um but he's like no we can we can mine it safely they have no idea they don't have any like designs for it he just wants to make a lot of money because there's trillions of dollars of material that you know in the in the show we're running out of on planet earth like to make cell phones and shit anyway so he wants that material and he talks to the republican president who wants a cut of the money from the stuff right so instead of just deflecting it which is the easy way and the 100 percent safe way they want to mine it so they can make money and that's the whole struggle. And he's like, he goes, but what if it doesn't work? And because they have to wait till it gets super fucking close to you, right? Yeah. To mine it. So by the time it gets here, you're already seeing it. So if you fail, you really fail. Anyway, he goes, oh, he goes, but if you don't mine it, you're dead. We're all dead. No one lives anymore. And he goes, Jonah Hill's character goes, oh, boo hoo. What if we're so rich? Like, it was so true of who would react. It's like. Common sense over, like, greed, wealth, like, do? selfishness. What would you do? Dude, I would deflect that shit in a heartbeat. I would destroy the fuck out of it. Yeah. I, I, I blowed it up. Oh, my gosh. I would just deflect it and send it away. But it shows that, like, that's the right answer. But no one would choose that answer. Like, that's how greedy and selfish and, like, far we've gotten. And he does, the guy does a really great job in portraying it on, like, every level that we go through socially, we walk through. We will watch it, I promise. It's really good. Needless to say, I just feel like everything everything we talk about that is in regards to progress. Oh, we're going to Mars. Oh, we're doing this. You know, yeah. electric cars. We're getting away from fossil fuels. Like, all this stuff, right? It just does. It, it has this funny little, like, feeling where we're getting it done. But at the same time, there's, like... It's like something stopping us. It's in the way. Whether it's selfishness, greed, political gain, you know. Dude, this is crazy. Media, hype, all this kind of stuff. You know it's gotten giant, so convoluted. You know that giant meteor? That giant asteroid that I was just telling you about? The dimorphous? Yeah. It's like a moon to an even larger asteroid called Didymus, right? So are you... Okay, so it's a moon to the giant asteroid. Yeah, and Dart's just like, we're just going to see if we can hit it, you know? We're just going to see if we can hit the little moon. <laughs> and, and the first thing that shows up all over Google is like, is like, is Didymus asteroid like really going to hit in 2022? Oh, are they thinking that the big asteroid's going to come here? Dude, it was found like in 1969. They've known oh. about this forever, but only right now they're like 
Uh, you know, it, it, sensuous. Hey, sensuous up S- here. Sensuous, can you hit that? Thank you so much. Hey, sensuous, just, just like, you know, just like fly your little rocket at it and see what happens. <laughs> just sensuous up there in space. <laughs> love you go, to Tommy, bits. go. I love you to bits, but if you could just blast that some bitch out the sky. <laughs> We don't need to worry about it hitting us. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. It was discovered in April 11th, 1996. Oh, 96. Dyslexia. You did the number dyslexia again. Yep. It's called dyscalculum now. Oh. Okay, dyscalculum. so the dart probe's going to hit it at like, like over 14,000 miles an hour. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that should knock it off its orbit. <laughs> <laughs> but then you think, oh, cool. We've used every resource we have in the world to hit its moon. We're just going to hit it. It's, it we're feels hit like the, the scene. What is, is that going to do to the big one? Yo, it feels like the scene in Avengers Endgame when Iron Man's fighting Thanos and he does all this work and just makes a little bit of blood come out. Like we're sending this thing 14,000 miles an hour through space like with our ears plugged. Like, come on, baby. Hit a moon. Come on. And it just goes like. Yeah, we did it. And, like, this goes, tink. And just, like, drifts a little off. <laughs> Where's George W. Bush when you need him? I say blast that son, bitch. He, 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 could go for, like, he could go for a fight any day. Like, he's gearing for it, you know? <laughs> Fun fact, he's a hell of a painter. His paintings what? will astound you. He's a painter? Yeah. I don't <laughs> think he was born to be president. I, love, I like to paint. <laughs> Dude, like, no. He's like like really in-depth paint-wise, though. Isn't that kind of crazy that you're labeled president? Like like for life, right? Yeah. For like you've been a president, like you're yeah. just always going to be president. He's also a member of Skull Bone Society. Oh, that's stupid bullshit. Like secret society club. It's not Secret Society Club, like, they're open about it. They just don't tell you what they do. Right, but, like, some of the stuff, like... There's you, a picture of them online, actually. Well, well yeah, you can find society. it. Society. Well, Joe Rogan found it. Like, a bunch of KKK members. And all it is. Lie. And they're all, like, old, like, looking to the side like this. Yeah, just a bunch of waspy old white fellows well, in it, it tells you what they do for initiation. I don't even know this. What do they do for initiation? It's different for every person. Like George W. Bush's had to become president. Dad, oh, or dad, or the grand, or granddad. His granddad was in Skull and Bones or whatever, right? Yeah. It says, I think, if I remember correctly, it could be wrong, but it's something like this to do with a skull. He robbed the school of an ancient Indian skull, and like defiled it in some way. And that's like underneath his like picture and title of like the Skull and Bones website or whatever, and everyone has just different shit. But it's like one or two sentences of like very bad behavior that's still very vague. <laughs> but he defiled it, it in some way. We both know <laughs> that George Senior Bush he, he raped that skull. He was skull fucking. He, his he raped that skull. He was over there like, uh, 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 uh. and he goes, "Hey, hey, hey Indians, hey!" <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, the, the Skull and Bones people were like, you're actually taking this too far. <laughs> like, we just asked you to get the skull and bring it back to us. He goes, I love America! <laughs> My son's going to love this. He's going to get the Skull and Bones. Like, I feel like he says more of a hip to hip to hip to hip to <laughs> <laughs> not not boobity boppity. He's not Italian. He goes, yeah, hip to hip to hip to hip to. Okay, so we you watched SNL with me last night. That's exactly how he became president too. Have you? How, how did you become president, George W. Bush? Skull my fucking grand, Indian. My grand. <laughs> 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 You're like what? My my nah, my, my granddaddy. <laughs> my my granddaddy. He fuck. <laughs> he skull <laughs> fucked an engine. <laughs> no, but feel safe though. He was already dead. Yeah, he wore a condom. <laughs> he wore a condom. So it's all good. He was already dead. Okay. <laughs> It was horrible what happened to them. How would you like to be Jeb Bush, the only Bush not to become president? He's only like, but but my my daddy, my granddaddy, he's <laughs> so fucked in it. And they're like, you just don't have the swag. You don't have the right stuff. <laughs> what stuff is that? You wouldn't you wouldn't make love to that Indian skull, would you? Oh, that's horrible. That's why you won't be president. Yeah, you never could. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a Bush. But Dude, uh, look at that. But in SNL, Will Ferrell. 
he did back in like the early 2000s did the best like so i don't know if you know this but george w bush had like a ranch right like a texas ranch and was Camp david yeah okay fucking hates horses hates farm work hates all of that stuff so will ferrell when he found that out they wrote a sketch for him to like this is my this is my ranch right like he's showing it off and a horse like a real horse because he's terrified of him he goes like this he goes Hey, get that! Hey, get that thing away from me! Hey, and it's like pulling on his shirt. He's like, "Give me that!" And he's holding different tools, right? He's like, "I think this one's a hoe." Uh, not you, honey. <laughs> and it's like an actual hip, 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 hip. It's just <laughs> absolutely hilarious. Uh, but, fool me once, uh, shame on you. Fool me twice, <laughs> fool me once, shame on you. Listen, I'm going to talk about the can't Indians. Fool me again. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> People Fuck often misunderestimate sign. me, okay? <laughs> they overestimate me. <laughs> misunderestimate. They misunderestimate me. Oh, wow. It's one of the big three societies at Yale. The other two being Scroll and Key and Wolf's Head. <laughs> Winning. It's been around 190 years. Oh, yeah. I've heard about it like horror stories. Oh, those guys, they control everything. I'm like, oh, come on! I thought that was the Illuminati or some shit. I'm like, it's just, it's just Yale. Like, it's not like, like it's just a college. Like, I don't think as a group in college could be so influential to like, eventually control the outcome of the president. And if they did, like, who if they could, why George W. Bush? Like, why, why would that be the line, the lineage that that would occur? They'd be like, oh yeah, we got the perfect candidates. There's like hundreds of them. And there's like, how about the Bush family? They seem pretty reasonable. It just doesn't make sense to me. What you got there, dead silence? Okay, so over the skull and bones, there's a number 322, like on its skull. Mm-hmm. Appears in skull and bones insignia and is widely reported to be significant as the year of Greek orator Demosthenes' death. A letter between early society members and Yale archives. Oh, Suggests that 322 is a reference to the year 322 BCE, and the members measure dates from this year instead of from the common era. BCE, like before Christ existed? Yeah. In 322 BC, the Lamian War. Lame ass. Yo, like Yale didn't even exist then. Are you telling me that they adapted this when they made I the don't college? Know. They measure time Re- weird too. Reaching. They call it barbarian time. It's five. All their clocks are like five minutes out of sync from normal time, no matter what. How would they know that's barbarian time? I'm not a bone man. <laughs> that's what they're called, bonesmen. They didn't oh, allow what, they didn't allow chicks till the 90s. Yeah, that sounds badass. <laughs> kind of like the Blood Indians of Canada. Okay, <laughs> that <just> sounds badass. <laughs> A b- 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 bad, a little b- 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 bad. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of the Skull and Bones logo, like a patch on a biker yeah. You're like, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, brother! <laughs> You're like, where'd you get that? You're like, thrift shop up the street. Got a fucking <laughs> nail, brother. <laughs> <laughs> My like, granddaddy fucked ninja. <laughs> My granddaddy fucked ninja head. <laughs> Don't worry, he was very dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> George hey, w-, w, hey W, what makes you think you can ride with us? My granddaddy done fucked it. Skull <laughs> fucked an engine. <laughs> I got this here. Is your great granddaddy the skull fucking engine? No, he, you, you can't join. Sorry. He never returned it. Neither. Seat, seat's taken. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> skull and bones membership was almost exclusive. You see what she just did to me? Oh. Ex- well. Almost exclusively limited to white Protestant males for much of its history. Yeah. While some Catholics were able to join such groups, Jews were more often not. So they were discriminatory against Jews as well. Yeah. They didn't allow a Jewish person until there was a star football player. And they call it tap. They say you get tapped for skull and bones. You don't get initiated, you get tapped. Like they're they're like Oh, maybe he didn't fuck the skull, maybe he got ass fucked. <laughs> I don't know. By the by the engine skull. Yeah, my great granddad. Nah, I just don't have that same kind of ring, you know. Yeah, it doesn't. Like how? That seems like it would like, actually be they, true. How do they pitch that to somebody though? Like, like, 
we're at Yale. We're the best of the best, right? Right? Here's what you got to do. You want you want to join our little club, okay? You got you got to go out there. You got to let's just say you got to like like skull fuck that dead engine. Oh, I got to I got to what now? Yeah. Well, th- no, it's because they're crazy enough that they would actually do it. You know like people who get like really fucked up and they're like I'll do anything, right? Yeah. Imagine that but you don't have to be drunk. That's what I assume his granddaddy was like. <laughs> like, okay, uh, you, you, you lost what I'm trying to say? Okay, so like, you know how if you get enough in you, you think you can do anything. Enough alcohol? Oh, yeah. You're yeah, like, oh, Marco I can especially. I can fucking lift a car. I can do all this stuff, right? Yeah. False sense of like, I'm awesome. I can do everything. Yeah. Imagine that's just turned on, but you're not drunk. Like, you just have this overwhelming confidence that whatever you do, it'll work out. Like, I can get through anything, whatever, but just super extreme. So he's like, oh, I'm you got to, like, go age. You gotta go steal an Indian head. He goes, forget that. I'll fuck it, too. And you're like, we, you think? You're like, you we didn't. A- George Sr. You're like, we didn't ask you to do that. He <sighs> goes, I will. I'll do it right now. You think George, du- George W. Bush's granddaddy <laughs> pitched the idea to them. Not like, yeah, you just you just got to go, like, like. You know, you, you got to play, what, what is it? You, you got you to gotta go tag it. You just got to, like, like poke it, <laughs> po- poke that Indian skull. That's been in the observatory for years, okay? It's been in every year. He, he's like, hit the U one better. <laughs> yeah, that's hip exactly hip what I think. <laughs> he's a, he's a, hip to hip to hip to, I'm going to fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, let's track uh, <sighs> Miss McGuckian over there. I need to get her out of the library. I got to get this Indian skull. McGuckian. <laughs> <laughs> and they're over there, and then they're over there like, and then somehow these guys at <laughs> Yale, okay, they're supposed to be leading the world. Like, <laughs> oh, we're important. Yeah, hip to hip to hip to. We're at Yale. Yeah, you're a doll. Well, then they're over there just like, that's the guy. You're yeah, like, we gotta, we gotta step up. Our All initiation. of his kids are gonna be present, except for Jeb. That's He's what I'm a saying. Very low energy <laughs> individual. They're like, this bloodline's gonna be crazy. Hey. President. <laughs> they're like. How susceptible to influence. Well, his dad was president. Mm-hmm. You president. And his, and his granddaddy president. fucked a skull. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't well, seem that crazy allegedly. to me that that would happen. Skull and bones, you'll never find us here. <laughs> yeah, we're going to find. Well, it's next. We're going to get, like, copyright strike by, like, skull and bones. Like, hey, they're talking bad about us. Didn't they already, like, try that shit on YouTube, though? And then they said, what? We were cyberbullying. We were cyberbullying and harassing you. A fictional character named okay, Hillary Clinton. Let me, let me, just let me <laughs> stop you right here. Um, sorry, but isn't it harassment if like we're doing it to you? Yeah. Like you're choosing to watch us. We said she's not eating children. Like, like it's not it, bullying. It's not bullying. Someone just labeled us as like cyberbullying, and they didn't like the political spin apparently. So then, guess who gets under fire? Just like that Indian school, right, we got fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and it all comes full circle. <laughs> Except for Jeb Bush. <laughs> Just like that skull, now, we got... Now, rumor has it that W mm. was the direct descendant of that Indian school and his granddaddy. Mm-hmm. So, so to speak. <laughs> As it were. <laughs> Allegedly. He was Jewish and black. In 1938, and he turned them down. He turned Skull and Bones down? Yeah. He was Jewish and black in 38. Right on, sir. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> My great granddad. You want this patch? <laughs> I don't want it. He turned them down for the Berzelius Secret Wait, he was Jewish and black? Jewish and black. Well, that's a combo. That really is. Like, uh, who's that? Mm. Eric Andre. And that was the 30s? The late 30s? 1938, and he was a football player. Hmm. I mean, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What? Not in a weird, like, racial way, but, like, that's close to, like, World War II. And then there was three groups that I think of that were the most discriminated in World War II times. My people, 4% of your people. Jewish, African Americans, black people. For those of you who don't get that inside joke, Chase, tell me Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I took a genealogy test where you do the swab and you send it off. Apparently, I'm 4% black. Welcome to the party. Hey, 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 hey. Which is above the normal of like 2% or whatever. Is everybody at least 2%? I don't know if everybody is, but like if you get like 
that back. It's usually like one to two percent. But I'm like, I'm four four percent. Six percent with today's inflation. I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with inflation going up at eight percent this month, um, I'm actually ten percent black. <laughs> I just don't, it's just math. Don't judge me. It's no, just he math. actually can. He can do one handshake. Show him the handshake. Show him the handshake. I can't with you, by the way. You ever heard of standing up? I, you ever heard of quitting? I can't. Quit your bitching? Look at this. There's a sausage in front of me. Okay? Half of the hot dog bun's gone. Okay? He's been shaved off. He's so <laughs> short you can't see him on the camera. Oh, son of a bitch. They won't see me asshole. trying to hit him or nothing. I just look like an asshole trying to point to the nothing. And he's look, nothing. Oh, he's just standing still. Just sitting there doing his thing. Just you alive, boy? But I, I He's only awake four hours a day, well, but okay. those four hours are long. Verification. Does it work or does it not work with the handshake? Where you, you go like this, you do the regular, mm, and then you go. How Does that work or does it not work? It only works because you have 4%. <laughs> I mean... I mean, it works for me. Well, I got. I'm I got, Norwegian and Jewish, right? Well, the, no, the the there was one time where I, I he stopped me. Remember that? Too much. I go, what's up? Like that. I even leaned with it a little bit. He goes, yo, too fucking much. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> that requires four five percent. Yeah, he's like too fucking much. <laughs> and I was like, it's cool. It's cool. He goes, all right. Bad. Like he, I, I can't I understand. I had to get it. You know, I'm like, fine by me. Peter number three, I guess. <laughs> you grow up in the hood, and they call you peanut. You know, I was like, uh, you, you can snap it. We're sweating. Handshake. Like, did I break some kind of code? I don't know about. I only do it fifty <laughs> times. If I do it more than fifty <laughs> times, it's like uh, he's he's going. Pulls out a paper. Here, hold hold on. <laughs> Forty nine. <laughs> yeah, you big stud, you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the initiation ritual in Skull and Bones. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, I tried to get the uh, Jewish black guy who played football to join. He denied us, so I had to skull fuck the Indian. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, didn't go very well. I uh, learned a handshake. I told him I'm 4% black. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, he even said, too much, pal. Tone it down, which was too fucking much back in those days. He said, hey there. Hey there. Whoa, wait there. Stupid. <laughs> Hold on real quick. I'm going to look up more about this so you can keep talking shit. Oh, you're fine. Look at your animal. Look, look at this. Dude, I'm telling you, he's only awake four hours <laughs> a day. They long four hours, though. Oh, he just made a noise about himself. Dude, he... He, he got know. upset with himself moving. You see how he covers his ears with his eyes? Huh. It's his like eyes when, it's like ears. when we wear blindfolds to go to bed. Dude, it's because he's I swear he's got no eyelids. <laughs> he, he don't blink. <laughs> he's got like the bottom eyelids, so he, also, he goes does, like this. It doesn't even comfortable. Like lay all the way down. <laughs> you upset him. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry sausage. Awaken. <laughs> <laughs> Insert the sleeper as awakened from death clock. Uh, Metalocalypse. <laughs> Oh, the <laughs> sleeper ain't awaken. Uh, yeah, George H. W. Bush was Magog. Apparently, that was his what? name. Magog. He was granted the title of Magog. I don't know what that is. They each have like nicknames from drawn from literature. So one guy is Sancho Panza. One guy was Thor. One guy was Baal. Like Christian Egyptian, Baal, like the Egyptian god Baal. One oh. was Odin. Okay, His first go- name was McGeorge. McGeorge. McGeorge Odin. McGeorge Bundy was Odin, and George H. W. Bush was Magog. Gog and Magog from the Bible. These, okay, the, I'm getting, okay. You know what? Just look it up. Look it up. No, I'm just it's telling you, these guys. These guys are sick. Okay, uh, you guys are okay. sick. That's so we're bo- Yale. We're gonna bo- boycott Yale. William Howard Taft was in there. Too fucking much. Both Bushes. Chauncey Depew. Isn't that that skunk from uh from, <laughs> from Looney Tunes? Sa- uh, St. Peter's, uh, George St. Peter's dad. Monsieri. George hey. St. Peter's dad. That's it. Yeah, Chauncey Depew. That's it. Uh, United States Senator from New York. Wow. The president of the New York Central Railroad System. Juan Terry Trippe. 
I don't know who he is. Founder and CEO of Pan American World Airways. The guy who founded Pan Am. Joseph Gibson Hoyt, the first okay, chancellor. Well, okay, of, okay. So you're saying these people are successful at some regard. All of them are political figures and huge. So and the guys that weren't politicians were like literally invented It looks like infrastructure. Literally invented Pan Am. Okay, yeah. Like the air, biggest airplane company of its time, which back in the day was massive. Okay, very massive. Uh and the other guy invented just the New York Central Railroad system. I mean, that's infrastructure. It's pretty big, but like, why that group? Like, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not saying that that's not true. They were tapped. Uh, I they, know, they but tapped like, tapped it. Your granddaddy skull. But there's other groups like this no one that have successful people that go there. Oh God! Like at Harvard or you know, like James Jesus Angleton, m- mother of the Central Intelligence Agency, Henry Stimson, the Secretary of War. Oh, my. Robert A. Lovett, Secretary of Defense. William Washburn, the governor of Massachusetts. That's it. Like, he's just the governor of Massachusetts. Political. Uh, to some nature. I'm the mayor of Paola, Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> I also own a taxi and a laundry you're like, mat. You're like, bitching. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got something. The founder of FedEx... Oh, no shit. Really? Chairman of Barack Obama's Council of Economic Advisors, John Kerry. Are these all with, like, pictures? and? No, this is just, like, actual members. Uh, oh. Wow. Founder and publisher of Time, Life, Fortune, and Sports Illustrated, Henry Luce. Wow, that's a huge publication. All of them. Okay, you they, you might have got me, okay? But I they, I do remember the Indian skull fucking story very well. And I think that's true. They've been asked about it in the 2004 presidential election. Both the Democratic and Republican nominees were alumni. George W. Bush wrote in his autobiography, In my senior year, I joined Skull and Bones. <laughs> <laughs> A secret All society. Right. So secret, I can't say nothing more. When asked what it meant that he and Bush were both bonesmen, John Gary said, not much, because it's a secret. <laughs> That's the most basic bitch answer. Not much, because What can you tell us about you being in a bones? Add, add an accent to that, like a, a feminine accent. Not much, because uh, it's a secret. Not much, it's a secret. You know, it's like... Not much, it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you to know. It's like, all right. I can't tell you about that. If that was me, I'd just be like, this, sto- this skull story's true. Definitely true. Well, they're called bonesmen. Yeah. A bone skulls. I mean, it's kind of what I'm getting here. Everything you're saying is what I'm imagining someone back in, like, <laughs> George W. Bush's granddad. This is like, the 1800s. Crooking. Skull and Bones has a reputation for stealing keepsakes from other Yale societies or from campus buildings. Aha! Uh-huh. Society members reportedly call the practice crooking and strive to outdo each other's crooks. You know George W. Bush was a wild crooker. Society has been accused of possessing the stolen skulls of Martin Van Buren, literally Geronimo, and Pancho Villa. Oh, Yeah. Martin Van Buren. Wow. Somebody. Oh, you don't remember skull. him? The eighth president? Did they fuck his skull too? They might have. They are oh, bonesmen. Wow. How do you get into a skull and bone society? Well, you want to become president someday? <laughs> sure. I would love it. You got to fuck the skull of Martin Van Buren. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh, remember back Sign me up. <laughs> 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 Shit, what, I won't even wear a condom. What play the what's that song? Bad is bone. Bad. On the day it was bone. Down in on it. Damn, dude, that shit's crazy. That, that is definitely worth. Who is Geronimo again? Yeah, you okay? Would you ever join a secret society? Backup question: Would you ever be able to hold the secret? Oh yeah. Yeah. I got ADHD. I would not. If if I was ever asked, just give me a distraction. I would want to join any secret society, and I believe I've told you I've gotten several offers for the Freemasons. I'm just busy. But, uh... What? 
oh yeah, I got an in through the podcast actually. No. I want to join it just so I know what they do. The Freemasons watch us. One of them's been a guest. Yeah, they want. Which one? Oh, tune in next week. A zombie <laughs> expert? Huh? Is it a zombie expert? What? Is it a secret that I can't tell? Yes. Okie dokies. Got you. Um. This is a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a uh, okay. So, I just want to join so I know what they do. I but I don't. But want to then you could. To that's the worst form of torture. Then you can't say anything. I don't want to say anything. I just doing, want to no, know. No, no. If they were doing the most diabolical shit, you couldn't report it. Do you know why I read so much weird shit? Because I've always been the type that not knowing things bothers the hell out of me. Right? Yeah, it's but like this is different. You know what they did to me at the prison when I worked there? No. They had, was a box. they had a box, okay, with a padlock on it, okay, and for years they tortured me. They just locked the box. If it were an open box, I wouldn't give a shit. It was a wooden box. They padlocked it, and only certain people were allowed in there, okay? It's probably full of nothing. All, they would go into it every day, okay, and just torture me with this box, like, so locked up. It was locked in a closet. It was just this little wooden box, okay, and only, like... Certain SWAT member, like SWAT trained members, working at the prison, like you know, the elite group, were allowed into the box. Not even like the cabs or the tents or nothing. Well, one day, sorry, cap. So, is he captain now, lieutenant? Sorry, lieutenant. One of my lieutenants goes. I have no idea what you're saying. My until lieutenant you say goes it. to the bathroom, leaves his keys on his duty belt on the hook. Okay. I'm making coffee. Now, again, this has been torturing me for three years. For three years, I've been trying to get in this box, and I've been told, Fire! You know, you know what's in this box. <laughs> and I've been tortured. They even pranked me for trying to figure out what was in the box, okay? Like, stupid idiot. Like, they hella pranked me, bro. Anyway, I open up the box. It was their lunches. Mm. It was their fucking lunches. Like, that's it. I don't know why they didn't just put that coat box in a fucking fridge. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm pretty sure these it. mics picked both of those up. <laughs> you think so? Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. He makes weird sounds, man. But He's you wouldn't be able to say anything to me. So, like, I mean, I would still want to know. <laughs> that's though. a selfish thing to say. I would still want to know. I'd get you in, bro. I'd get you in, too. That, no, I wouldn't want to do it. Because then I'm stuck. Dealing with this information. The shit I would do just to learn something. You have no idea. I mean, we, I guess we would, sh- we would share the information together, but it'd be the information we already know. Yeah. You know, like, you have a secret, and you gotta get that secret out? I don't do that. I Not just, voluntarily. No, I'm just saying I just want to like, know shit. I don't want to tell people. I just want to know, know but, it. Okay, l- okay. If it was, but like, okay, here's it's a poker night. The fights are on, Okay. People are drinking. Lies okay. are different. If I told a lie, I got to come clean about it or I feel bad. Secrets I can keep to the grave. Yeah, but you wouldn't be above telling me. If I just, like, drunk people, if I just keep pestering you with the same question, you won't remember that I kept asking the question, but eventually you'll get annoyed and you'll just be like, yes, they're doing that. And I'm like, you're out, buddy. Like, if they found out, you would never had, like, it sets a lot of Neither pressure. with that engine. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, Hell yeah. Like, oh, my no, granddaddy. I'm, I'm in trouble. Oh, they're going to fuck my skull. I'm just saying that I'm going to be put in that position to where I'd have to keep a secret like that forever. Oh, my gosh. They're saying he stole Geronimo's skull. Great grandson of the and banged great it. Apache warrior. See? I banged it. I knew it was true. I told you. First year. Oh, zip it. Zippity doo dah. Shut up. You're fine. You've been walked like 40 times. You've been out all day. Leave me alone. <laughs> Go back to sleep. Don't look at me, man. He, he, just, <laughs> he just needs a nap. He did. He came to me as backup. He's like, like, yo, hey, you. Just blink. Just quit staring at me with them eyes. Quit read my. Get out of my head. <laughs> Forced him. <laughs> We went by back in. 
All right, what else you got? Hey, uh, the Jedi mind trick. I don't know what I got I'm a toy dairy. With your wave around you, I'm like, you're some kind of a Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> I can do Waddle impressions all day. And I they, they're, they're not forever. relevant right now, but they they will be funny if you clip these and just like. Oh, for sure. Eddie, what are you doing? He'll end what up right here. What you wave around you? I'm like, that, like you're some kind of a Jedi or something. Mind the trick on the work on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a toy dairy. <laughs> Did it, it, so it didn't work? I forget. Did it not work on him? No, mm-hmm. no. Oh. You know why it worked on Jar Jar? And Gungans? No. It doesn't work on, like, intelligent beings. Watto was apparently barely intelligent enough that the mind trick didn't work on him. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm the- but it works on, like, stormtroopers and all these other people. They're not intelligent. They just follow orders? Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, what do you have around you? Why around you? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but the beat is Sebulba. Fucking Sebulba scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. I all... wanted those robots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 scared the sh- Gave me the willies, okay? <laughs> no, but the, no, but the beat like, Sebulba. And, I, and I'm over here like, Nobody can beat him. I was like, is he getting out of his chair? But you were doing the Sebulba way. You know, okay. <laughs> he's, he's, he's just like struggling to be a man. <laughs> Not flexible. <laughs> but you know the robots, the helpers that like shrink and then pop back up? Yeah. I thought it'd be cool to have one of those just like, bing, bing, bing. And like, oh, just that's play it. With it. Like that's all it does? That's it. We could totally make one. That'd be a good toy. Hasbro, bing, bing, you know where to bing. find us. <laughs> you know? We have plenty of toys. Funko pops all over the place. <laughs> Whose skull do I got to fuck to get in the door <laughs> <swing> around here? <laughs> <laughs> Whose skull do I got to get in Hasbro? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got any ending notes, sir? Hold on real quick before we go to that. Oh, okay. So there's those are just the big three. One of them even has a secret crypt under Yale. Ben confirmed. Like he dug out a crypt. No, like there's just been one under Yale forever, and this group, this like their competitor. Mm-hmm. They're also called Order Three Twenty Two, the Order and the Brotherhood of Death. Well, that sounds the really scroll bad. Scroll and key. They're the ones that have the. Have like the underground tombs. Oh, why do they keep skulls at a college campus? What do you think is gonna happen? You know what I mean? Yeah, they're like Fred Hills. Fred Hills. <laughs> <laughs> Several members of the class, including John Addison Porter. Oh, chemist Leonard Case Jr., philanthropist from Ohio. And Teddy Runyon, Brigadier General. You say uh, Darla McGuckian? Yeah, pretty much like the the losers. The losers <laughs> go to Scroll and Key. I would totally be accepted just Dar- your secrets. Darla McGuckian. I'm a loser. Trust me. Look at the show. <laughs> Did she have she have one lazy eye? Two, actually. <laughs> yeah, two. Darla McGuckian. <laughs> Darla McGuckian. That's one of the big three. What? They've only had three famous people there ever. Oh. And they're they're just like, like one of them's a chemist. One of them's a philanthropist. Yeah, not as fancy as the other one. Yeah, like, come on. They got every president ever. Come on. Come on. Skull and come Bones on, is like, we're on. better. So. Okay, list of Skull Bones member members. How do they find all these people? I have no idea. Oh, shit. I President Taft, his father, his father uh, was one of the founders. Oh. Was that the really fat one? Yeah, the one that had, like, a custom tub. What? Taft. He had, like, Is two- it still in the White House? I don't know. Man, jacuzzi tub. Probably fucked by members of Yale. How fat was this guy? Massive. Like five hundred pound life massive, 
You want to know? I, I know so much fun facts about presidents. Okay, well, let's let her rip. Do you know why dicks are called Johnsons? No. Jordan! <laughs> because during interviews with President Johnson, when he didn't want to answer a question, he would whip his dick out. No. I guess there would be no video proof. There was no video proof back then. <laughs> just a lot of rumors, and he just likes streaking. <laughs> what a good president. Yeah, right? So they'd be like, so what do you think about the war? And he goes, what do you think about this? <laughs> <laughs> they go, Johnson. He goes, I think you're talking to this. Yeah, he's talking to me. <laughs> and they said, but, and this is like, 1700s right they're like i don't know why i was so impressed with it it wasn't like anything special it was just like <laughs> it was just like a regularly old regularly old run of the mill because i've had lots of women tell me that it's very impressive and they're like they're liars what about the war <laughs> <laughs> let me look that up i know that's the thing now take your sweet time all the way mm, beep, beep. Okay, he even nicknamed it Jumbo. <laughs> Lyndon B. Johnson. The 36th president of the United States. He nicknamed it Jumbo Johnson regularly. Showed off his penis to the staff and journalists at the White House saying, You ever see anything as big as this? <laughs> When a journalist asked Johnson to justify the continuation of the Vietnam War, Johnson asked all the women to leave the room, then pulled out his penis and yelled, that's why. (laughs) (laughs) It was quoted in my... All the women need to leave the room. Why why did you continue the war in Vietnam? (laughs) That's why. (laughs) <laughs> Wouldn't it be Johnson was gangster as fuck? I mean, come on. Oh, my cheeks hurt, man. Nicknamed it Jumbo. You ever see anything that big? <laughs> Another thing, the crotch down where the nuts hang is always a little too tight. He all often said when ordering custom pants with a large crotch area. They hang too low is what he's saying? Yeah, that's what he was claiming. Besides showing off his penis rather generously to those around him, Johnson was notoriously there was notorious for crude behavior, which put those around him in huge discomfort. Most likely, he did it on purpose to exert his dominance over others. <laughs> Johnson once urinated on a Secret Service agent's leg while the agent was giving him cover. The president said, "Don't worry, son. It's my prerogative." <laughs> He loved to conduct his meetings while sitting on a toilet or peeing in a sink. Of course. Peeing in a sink. Okay, you're president. It's normally next to the toilet. Yeah. Just go to the toilet. Dude, I don't think you're. Go pee pee in the toilet. You are president of the United fucking States. Everyone hates you. The world's in Vietnam. Just piss on the floor then. (laughs) The sink cleans itself. Like. Yeah, but if you, they're like, oh, I know you fucking hate me. Yeah, you. And just pee on the floor and go, you need to clean that up. Oh, that's a dick move. I think it's more He's like a, a dick. Literally, no, Johnson know. Jumbo, the dick. <laughs> I think it is like a power move like, I can pee in the sink, and you can't say shit about it because I'm president. <laughs> Eat that, mother. You ever seen anything this massive? Never. Have you ever, ever seen anything yet? <laughs> <laughs> During his 1964 presidential election campaign, Johnson invited White House reporter Frank Cormier, Cormier, DC Cormier's father, and two of his colleagues to a news conference aboard the Air Force One. Nothing unusual, except that Johnson undressed and stood completely naked in front of them while answering their questions about the economy. That's unusual. If I can move 10,000 troops in a day, you can certainly fix the bathroom any way I want it. The plumbers had to lay a new water pipe, create a special water tank with a pump, and add six body spray nozzles. It cost tens of thousands of dollars and was paid with classified funds allocated for the president's security. In addition, Johnson's special shower was constantly breaking down and required at least five replacements. Oh my gosh. Lyndon B. Johnson was one of the most controversial presidents in American history. 
He improved civil rights, health care, and welfare. However, he also escalated the disastrous Vietnam War. Their naming his penis Jumbo pales in significance compared to all the above. So you can be a piece of shit, but be a good president. I mean, fix health care. Uh, they also continued Vietnam War, like, for no reason other than, that's why <laughs> we're in hell. You can be a dick, but still be a good president. Literally a dick. All right. Well, uh, penises are called Johnson because of Lyndon B. Johnson whipping his yep. dick out. That's right. Um, Maria haunts us in our nightmares and dreams. Painting gives me the skeeves. Yep. Uh, George W. Bush's great granddaddy skull fucked an engine. Yeah, the Got best. Skull bones apparently, aside. the greatest warrior. Drano? The greatest Apache warrior, right? Yeah, legend. Drano! Skull fuck just like the greatest. You know, like, oh man, that's that is so. But now he's got the skull and bones. Right on, <laughs> dude. Right on, right on. Hasbro's going to give us a deal. Uh, that's right. For a toy that was not even popular 20 years ago. A giant asteroid is coming to Earth allegedly soon. Uh, and if Musk, not, we'll just smash it with a rocket chip. Elon Musk plans to get a Dewey in space. <laughs> uh, just, you know, bumper cars. Bing At 14 bong, thou bong. mile an hour. You know, no big deal. Bing bong. Going. 14 thou mile an hour. Yee. That's the shit, actually. That's quick as hell. Uh, yeah. And my dog doesn't blink. Look at him now. <laughs> <laughs> And that's all we got. Goodbye.